with like out of like paper and tape and stuff. And then we painted it and we like put tissue paper inside of the like hole we made like holes on the top. And we put like different colored tissue paper to make it like like flames. And um, I learned that it's not easy to work with paper and like the construction of stuff like that. And I learned that it's really hard to tape over, I mean, um, paint over tape. We did them from, like, way back in, like, the 1900s and stuff until, like, now, but we only, like, finished three, we only finished three of them. Okay. And it was, yeah, we had to, like, study everything on, like, how they were structured, the angles and stuff like that. When they do the run, that I think that it's just, like, there. Like they're just staying lit, but then when they actually like like the big thing, we thought that there was like a um, like gas that goes up to the flame that that keeps it lit the whole time. We had to make a half pipe, and it has it had to get uh, two revolutions. It had to get three revolutions, so we had, we had to add paper and plugs. Uh, so. It gets the high and the slow to get it, and we tried many ways, but some ways didn't work and some ways did. Like we had to paint, but that didn't work because the paint used to get dried and then it didn't used to be like that smooth. So then we had to take the paper out again, and then we had to add an, a white sheet of paper so we don't have to paint it over. And, yeah, and then we made a little. Stadium, or like a stand, where we could put the ball and be closed, so then it takes to move. the walls. Like we didn't know like how big the wall should be, so we went online. We had we had to do some research about the walls and and also about the slope because if the if it's is too much slope, it would it would go too fast and it would not have the balance. So we had to do some time. project. We did a snowboard. And we had to see how we constructed it and put the labels and stuff on there. We had to label it and we had to do research on it. We had to, we had to look, we read this article about how each layer is important to the snowboard and stuff like that. And then um, we read also, we read a different article about um, the different kinds of parts of like the snowboard, like the chamber, the heel edge, the toe edge, the nose like length, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we did math mostly. We did. Um, we showed like how when the angle of when the snowboard like lifts off of the. Like how math constructs with all, like, all the tricks and stuff yeah. that you do. And what else we do? We did like what else? What's, what math is in there? Is degrees, angles, centripetal force? Yeah. And, um. Well, yeah. I, re I researched the how the the snowboard hits the when like when it lands a trick, how it like first hits the the snow, and, like the angles of that, and then how it first lifts off, like when it lifts off the snow. Yeah. We are lifted in corporations, see, uh, with a number one cheat um, choice in ski lifts with a satisfaction rate of 100%. As you can see there, we're lifted, stay lifted, okay. Uh, there's our website, you can like us on Facebook as well. Email us, fax us, or call us if you call us from Jonathan, he'll contact you to me, connect you to me. That's our building location where we build and make the product. Um, safety is our number one concern, and uh, the ski lift range is from fifteen to twenty-five thousand. Depends on how you want it built. You can get it custom. Uh, this is just a model. This is the one of the ones that sell the most. So we just decided to present this one. The door and it, it closes good shut. Um, got some safety on it so it doesn't fall, and uh, that's. Lifting.